Hey guys, GameShan here. So recently I got a request from a YouTuber if I could revisit my video on how to enable QuickSync. So without any further ado, here's how to enable QuickSync revisited. So after Windows 10 was released, a whole lot changed and the method I used before had some differences compared to how you do this now. So the first thing you have to do is turn off your PC, get an extra monitor, go to the back of your PC and plug that one into your iGPU. Kidding. This will only work for QuickSync if you have to have the easiest setup, but you won't benefit from it if you don't have an extra monitor. So the first thing you'll have to do is identify if and what iGPU you have. The best way to do this is by going to www.arc.intel.com and look for the processor that you have. If you don't know your processor, then you can download CPU-Z. That tool will give you all the necessary information about your processor. Now that you have verified that your processor has Intel HD graphics inside, go into your BIOS and search for iGPU Multi-Monitor. If you have this disabled, set it to Enabled. After you've done this, save the settings and reboot back into your OS. Once you're back into your OS, go to intel.com, click support, drivers and software and search for drivers. Now in the search bar, type the name of your iGPU and click on the driver that's correct for your PC. Now in case you don't see the correct driver for your CPU, that probably means that your CPU is outdated. There's a workaround for this. Go to www.lashcatlabs.net and click on the UniFL Catalyst drivers. If you get an error message while installing, turn off the backup option in the advanced settings. This is a custom driver pack designed for older iGPUs to work on newer OS's like Windows 10. So after you've installed your correct drivers, you right click on your desktop and go to display settings. Click on the show advanced settings and there should be two displays. Click on the second one and click on extend these displays. And there you go. That's basically all there is to it. Now if you want an explanation how to do this on older OS's, my first guide is a bit more accurate for that. So if you want you can click on the button on the top right corner and watch that one. So that's been it guys, thanks for watching, I hope I helped you guys. If you have questions leave them in the comments down below or on Twitter, I'm always active on Twitter. Also if you like this video don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.